Welcome back to the channel. Trust me, I'm a pilot. My name is Akshay and I'm gonna take you on a journey of becoming a commercial pilot from a student pilot. In today's video, I'll be clearing all your doubts related to class 1 and class 2 medical. Is wearing specs a problem? No, wearing specs is not a problem as long as you have 6x6 vision with the specs on both of your eyes. How much time does class 1 medical take? It usually takes 2 days provided that no specialist opinion or additional tests are required. What are the tests involved in class 1 medical? The following 14 tests which are shown on your screen are involved in class 1 medical. You can take a screenshot of this and show it to the certified labs. Make sure you get it done from NABL certified labs because you, if you get it done from any other lab it won't be accepted. Where all is DGCA class 1 conducted? For initial DGCA class 1 medical, you need to get it done from the following centers. AFCME, New Delhi, MEC, Jorhat, MEC, Bangalore, Air Force Hospital, Ghazibad, President MEC, Bangalore, Nanavati Hospital, Mumbai, Apollo Heart Center, Chennai. How to get appointment for class 1 medical? The procedure for seeking DGC class 1 medical appointment can be accessed in DGC website and the medical section. Having LASIK surgery a problem Flight crew having undergone refractive surgery will be considered for medical fitness for flying on case-to-case -case basis. Such cases will be examined only after a minimum period of 6 months after surgery. No post complications will be accepted. What are the tests conducted in class 2 medical? The following 8 tests are conducted in class 2 medical. Height and weight, BP, ECG, chest x-ray, blood routine, urine routine, eye vision and ENT. Are class 2 medical similar to class 1 medical? Yes, most of the tests of class 2 medical are involved in class 1 medical but there are some more additional tests that are required to be done in class 1 medical. Is color blindness allowed? No, color blindness is strictly prohibited for Indian pilots, whether civil or military. You won't be able to see the data shown on the screen of an aircraft, so the color blindness is not allowed. A test of boys similar to girls. Yes, the 99% tests are similar, just the girls need to get two more tests done, that is mammography and UCG of lower abdomen. What are the basic physical requirements to be a pilot? There are five basic physical requirements to be a pilot. Height. Though there is no real height restrictions laid by the governing bodies, still a minimum of 158 cm is needed by many of airlines. BMI. Your BMI should be ideally be less than 25 and within normal range. If not, many other tests to prove your medical fitness will be have to be carried out. Vision. Contrary to proper belief, you can fly commercial aircraft wearing glasses or contact lenses as long as your vision is correctable to 6x6. Hearing The applicant when tested on pure tone audiometry shall not have hearing loss in either of ears separately or more than 35 decibel at any of the frequencies 500, 1000, 2000 hertz or more than 50 decibels at 3000 hertz. Mentally The applicant should be mentally fit and shall have no history of mental illness. If you have any doubts regarding the medical, you should always consult a DGCA certified doctor. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button. Thanks for watching.